you know, I've always had this issue. I want to record high quality podcast episodes on the go, like at events and conferences. And I've tried the mobile setups that connect your phone and stuff, and those are okay. But I want the same kind of audio quality that I get in my home office with really good equipment, but on the go. But you know, all those microphones and cables and stuff, it could be very overwhelming. So I reached out to my builder friend, Bob Claggett over at I Like To Make Stuff. And I was like, dude, can you, can you build something for me to be able to take all this stuff on the go and like a portable studio or something? And he said, yes. So this is what he built for me. Good to see you Good in see person, you. in the yeah, flesh. Sure. Uh, we don't often come across each other in person, but uh, here we are now about to reveal what is inside here. I'd love to know what your thought process is behind a build like this. Well, for this one, um, I used to travel some with my band. Mm -hmm. And so I took a lot of road cases and instrument cases. So we took the same idea and tried to pack a full uh, podcasting studio inside one of those cases. So we took specific measurements of all the gear and everything and made it fit exactly what you wanted to have in this box so you've got everything you need. Do you work with clients often who hire you for things like this? No, not no? very often. So I feel, I feel very special. You should feel very Thank special. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is special to me. Uh, let's open it up. Sounds good. I'm so excited. Um, is this not gonna like explode or? It shouldn't. Like, <laughs> I know it's around Halloween, trick or treat yeah. kind of situations. It's happened to me before, but I think I can trust you, Bob. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Okay. I need to know what is going on here because this is so cool. Wow. So here's what we got. Woo. This is in two pieces, so it actually comes apart once you've got it open. Okay. You've got four Rode microphones with stands. Wow. In here. And so you can just pull them out to use them and set them up on the table. This is wood. Yep. Nice. Uh, it's all walnut. And then over here, you've got the Rodecaster with four XLR cables plugged in all the time. Those cables are right here. Mm. So you've got all the power you need. You can just plug that in. You can take each one of these mic cables, undo the Velcro, run it to the mic, and you're good to go. This is exactly what I was looking for. We've got headphones there too. Yep. Uh, it looks like a USB cord in case you wanted to plug it into a computer. But yes. the nice thing about this device is you can just record right into it with an SD card. Yes. So I don't and even need my computer. You can get to that SD card. We made sure that all the power and all that stuff is accessible back yep. here. So it should be able to get to it all. And you can take it all out. It doesn't have to stay in this case. If you wanted to pull it out, you can. I love it. It looks like there would be enough room for like a power bank. If, if, if all these are out, you could put a power bank to power this. So you don't even need to plug it in. Sure. Dude, this is awesome. We need to, we need to set this up in like we're going to do an interview. Well, let's do an interview. Let's do an interview. All right. You know what I love about this? It looks super pro. Like if I'm with a client or a person I'm interviewing, it's not messy, right? Oh, good. Like if you imagine I interview, I don't know, Oprah or something. Like I think she would like this. <laughs> I, I would hope so. Oprah, if you're watching. Oprah. Let's do an interview. <laughs> okay. So this, this stuff separates. Pull that out. And we got the microphones. So two of us. Yep. We just need two mics. Okay. Headphones. You can use those. And this and we can go away. Which is nice. Now this becomes the control board, essentially, which is awesome. Okay, so let's go through setting this up real quick. One thing we really wanted was to make sure that everything was one end of all the cables were plugged in all the time. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have to like dig out what you need. You just yes. take the ends for what you need for the mics that you're using in the power and just plug it right in. Thank you for that. Go. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, let's plug okay. that one in. This is four. Yeah, that's four, and this one's two. Now, one thing that's cool is that these are the Rode pod mics, right? So I can click here and I can select pod. Actually, I think, oh, did wow. it automatically know it was pod mic? It's so. already set up on pod mic. So it knows to adjust the settings properly for this particular mic. Let's see if it did it on the other one. Yep, okay. Wow. So it's already processing. It'll make us sound beautiful. And, um, I can just hit record and go when we're ready. Bob, that took like a minute to build, uh, even though it took you two years. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> how long did it actually take you to build, like the build build part? The actual build probably took uh, maybe two weeks okay. or something. So we had the pandemic, which is why it took a couple yeah. of years to finally have this uh, gift given to us. But uh, we're about to record a podcast. And if you want to listen to that show, link in the description. And we're going to have some fun. So thank you again, Bob. This is really, really amazing. Awesome. Awesome.